Hi and welcome to Learn to Play Hymns. My name is Judy and I have 20 years experience playing hymns at church. Uh, we have a number of people who are interested in learning to play hymns and so we've started this course on Sunday evenings and I'm going to take everyone through from being a beginner or intermediate pianist through to hopefully becoming a confident hymn player in church. There are a few prerequisites. Firstly, you need access to a piano or to a keyboard so that you can practice. Secondly, you need to be able to read music. Uh, just a basic level of being able to read the treble and the bass clef is fine. And thirdly, you need access to a hymn book or to sheet music. We'll be using living hymns in the course, but I'll also link music down below for you. So every lesson will have a homework assignment and once you've completed this, you'll be able to go on to the next lesson. You can complete these at your own pace. And now with all of that having been said, let's get started. So in this first lesson, we're going to focus on the key of C major. So that will be our scale and our hymn that we do today will be in C major. So your first part of the homework assignment will be to play C major scale one octave in your right hand. I just want to explain some basic fingering to you. So the fingering for our hands is we start at the thumb and count outwards. So one, two, three, four, five, that's the number of our fingers. And with the left hand, one, two, three, four, five, that's the number of our fingers. C major scale, we play with fingers one, two, three, slide the thumb underneath, one, two, three, four, five, and then we come back. Four, three, two, one, over with three, two, one. And I'll show you this on the piano. So we'll be doing the C major scale one octave with your right hand. So you start on middle C. The second part of your homework assignment will be to take the hymn Sweet Hour of Prayer in C major and play it with your right hand and your left hand. In your right hand, you'll play the soprano and the alto notes together. So it will sound like this. All the way through to the end. With your left hand, you're going to look at the bass note. So that's the very bottom note in the music. And you're just going to play it as a single note in your left hand. So your left hand will sound something like this. Now, if you want, you can just play your left hand note on the main beats. So you could play... So on the main beats of the bar, or you can play it all the way through. So hands together, it should sound something like this. And you'll play it like that through to the end. Once you've mastered that, you'll be ready for your next lesson.